Hi guys, um, James here, and I thought today I would talk about grounding. I know over the years I've gotten some questions, but I've posted a lot of things about grounding, a lot of things about uh, how good it is, how useful it can be. It comes up in a lot of different situations. It can help you with confidence. It can help you with growth, with healing, with, uh, you know, dating women, with lots of different things so grounding so I'm just gonna give a basic overview of you know what is grounding so grounding is being connected to the earth being you know here being stable right and um, if you want to be masculine if you want to attract women you want to be grounded and you want to be stable and how does it function well gravity you know, is a wave as we know gravity comes up into your body and pulls you to the earth so that you don't float away out into outer space right if it weren't for gravity none of us would be here now the gravity waves they've done a lot of studies on this and it's been shown that gravity wa waves actually help relax you and help healing there was a study done on animals actually that animals in the wild heal much more quickly than animals that are domesticated or pets and this is some evidence to the case that when you're not grounded you don't heal as quickly both physically and emotionally and um, there's a lot of other studies on this I have a few articles that are posted on Elephant Journal uh, there's one, one of the first ones I wrote there from about a couple years ago, uh, but it actually gives references to the scientific studies that were done. So you can, if you look at my stuff on Elephant Journal, uh, you can check that out. I think it's the article about, you know, I'm not sure which article. It was one of the first couple ones I did, but I know the information is there. Uh, so the gravity comes up into your body and pulls you down to the earth right? and it helps calm you and it helps heal you and now what happens is unlike animals or plants who are constantly being rejuvenated by the gravity of the earth uh, humans have uh, ability to be able to kind of disconnect and disassociate from their own bodies and disassociate from their own emotions and disassociate from their connection and when you do that, when you can really disassociate from yourself, when you get really good at uh, being able to disconnect from yourself, you know, disconnect from your heart, you know, disconnect from all your different uh, areas of strength, chakras, if you want to call them that, then the gravity is affecting you less and less and you become ungrounded. So this is what they talk about when people are in your head, like get out of your head. When you're in your head, it means you're ungrounded because the act of being just in your head being in your head means being you know predominantly almost only in your head which means you're thinking you're using your analytical brain you know the forebrain which is in the frontal lobe here when you're using just that and you're not connected to feeling your body and you're not connected to feeling your emotions whether it's here or here or anywhere else then you become ungrounded you're actually setting up a situation where the electrical impulses in your body and those emotions those energies are blocking the energy of gravity that's coming into you and that makes it so that it amplifies the situation so that the more that you're in your head the more that you're disconnected from your uh, emotions the more that you're ungrounded the more ungrounded you become so it's good to develop the ability and there's plenty of tools to do this to be able to ground yourself and there's I'll give you a, a quick basic one right now uh, one very simple one which I gave in a tip uh, I think last week was to just pay attention to the bottoms of your feet if you put your awareness in the bottoms of your feet that will help ground you a little bit uh, something else you can do is do a daily exercise where you just stop and you can do the standing up or sitting down. You can do it laying down as well. And feel the bottoms of your feet. 
and imagine <clears throat> roots coming from the bottom of your feet going deep down into the center of the earth and connecting there and then imagine a third root coming from the center of your body and imagine that root going down to the center of the earth and connecting there and then just hold that for about two minutes just hold the sensation and the image of these three roots grounding you to the earth and that will allow you to relax and you're, f you're feeling it right your, your concentration and your awareness is low in your body it's in your legs it's beneath your body right and that will help get you grounded and it'll help because it will help lessen the interference that you're creating to stop the gravity from grounding you from helping you so doing a grounding exercise it's more than creating something new it's helping you to not do something that you were already doing so you were doing something destructive you know something not healthy for yourself and this can help you go the other way and can help you start to restore that natural grounding that you know we all have that we all this is a birthright of all of us to be grounded and the earth is here with its gravity to help us ground and if you can do this exercise now I advise like two minutes maybe if you could do that five times a day do that every day for a week and see what happens you know, see what kind of effect you have uh, this is just a basic starting exercise and you can do this standing you can do it laying down you can do it sitting in a chair you can also start to do it um, when I first started doing this um, waiting in line at a at an ATM or waiting in line at a store or at a doctor's office or dentist or wherever you happen to be. So if you have some extra time or waiting for a bus, if you happen to be somewhere and you have some extra time, you know, at the airport, then, you know, take two minutes and do this. Or even if you do it for one minute, that's still better than not doing it at all. And try and do it several times a day. If you can do it five times a day, I think that'll really help. So that's my explanation of grounding for now. And I will, in the future, have some other videos where I'll give you a little bit more uh, detailed grounding exercise and walk you through some of them. So remember to comment below and please ask questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions anyone has. And like, comment, follow, and we will see you next time.